Today's podcast looks at the song The Bull Fisherman, also known as Flowing by the Tide. I will explore the possible links to early Christian symbolism and sing samples of tunes associated with the song. As I walked out one May morning Down by the river side There I beheld a bull fisherman Come rowing with the tide Come a-rowing with the tide There I beheld a bull fisherman Come a-rowing with the tide Good morning to you, bold fisherman How came you fishing here? I came here a-fishing for your sweet sake All on this river clear All on this river clear I came here a-fishing for your sweet sake All on this river clear That tune was collected from the singing of the Copper family of West Sussex. The simple storyline of the song can be seen as a hybrid broken token song. Its narrative usually follows the following pattern. A maiden is on the shore. She spies a stranger rowing on the river and calls to him. As he steps ashore, he takes off his gown and throws it on the ground and she sees a chain of gold hanging from his neck. She then recognises him as a lord and apologises. He is not in the least offended and takes her off to be married. The Bull Fisherman is a popular and often sung ballad, but it has a fairly recent collecting and printing history. It appeared regularly in street ballads from the 1840s to the 1860s and seems to have been fairly widespread throughout the southern counties of England at the end of the 19th century. The variant text follows the same basic framework, with minor changes, as one might expect, and falls in line with the broadside text, with one major exception. In the broadside text, there is a hint of seduction. He untied or uncaught her morning gown and gently laid her down, which does not appear in the text taken from the oral sources. In the oral text, the seduction disappears, and it's the fisherman who takes off his morning gown, which he throws on the ground, or in one text, threw it over the sea, to reveal his symbols of office, that is, the chains of gold. Like the text, the tune generally conforms to a common origin, with the expected variations. It was first printed with a tune collected from singer Thomas Gray of Hitchin in Hertfordshire, in English County Songs in 1893, which was edited by Lucy Broadwood and Fuller Maitland. The song was collected fairly regularly during the early collection boom of the 20th century. Versions have also been collected in North America. Miss Broadwood collected the song a second time in 1914 from Mrs Joyner of Chiswell Green, Hertfordshire. He drove his boat towards the side which was his full intent And then he laid hold of her lily-white hand, And down the stream they went. Then he pulled off his morning gown, And threw it over the sea. And there she spied three robes of gold, All hanging down his knee. Then on her bended knee she fell, Pray, sir, pray, pardon me For calling you a fisherman And a rover down the sea Lucy Broadwood, writing in the Folk Song Journal for 1915 and 1923, felt that the ballad had links with a much older symbolic ballad. She had a strong impression that the modern broadside was a vulgar, and secularised transmutation of a medieval allegorical original. Miss Broadwood shows that the symbols found within the ballad can be linked to early Christian symbols and may have mystical links that predate Christianity. She tells us that the river, the sea, the royal fissure, the three vestiges of light, that's the robes of glory, the recognition and adoration by the humble soul, the free pardon, the mystical union of the bride to the bridegroom in the house of the father, 
or Father House, are familiar elements that can be found in all of the variants of the ballad. The early symbolism of Christianity is a fish, the converted souls, and the fisherman, Christ, i.e. the fisher king. This is verified in an article of 1923 by correspondence from George Mead, who was an authority on Gnostic and mystical early Christian writings and symbolism. Jesus of Nazareth is quoted as saying, Follow me, I will make you fishers of men. So early Christians had used the symbol of the fish at the times when Christianity was outlawed. The baptism itself retains a fish symbolism with its immersion in water and the symbolic washing away of sins. Other symbols are found in the use of gold chains or robes. Gold is a symbol of integrity. The looping of the chains represents the endowment of wisdom. The river itself represents the water of life, and so on. Composer E.J. Moiran recorded Harry Cox singing The Old Fisherman in 1934. Get up, get up, get up, he cried, from off your bended knee. There's not one word that you have said that has offended me, that has offended me. There's not one word that you have said at least offended me. I'll take you to my father's hall and there make you my bride. Then you will have a bold fisherman to row you on the tide, to row you on the tide. There you will have a bold fisherman to row you on the tide. It was the first folk song record issued by the EFDSS to a traditional singer. There are many examples of Christian symbolism within folk songs and ballads. For example, I'll sing you one or with its direct link to the Gospels, Apostles, and more obscure to the Eight Bold Rangers, Six Proud Walkers, the Symbol on the Door, etc. The Keys of Canterbury, or Heaven, now a children's riddle song of courtship, was, in its early versions, a direct challenge to the devil to tempt the souls away from the true path. The bull fisherman can be taken as a simple love ballad, or a powerful symbolic allegory of early Christian church. Make of this as you will. It's a fine song to sing, whichever way the singer and the listener chooses to view it. I will end this podcast with a performance of The Bull Fisherman from Amanda and Jane Threlfall, accompanied by Roger Edwards and Martin Ellison. This is a live performance recorded in 2000 at the Mickleby Folk Club in North Yorkshire, hence the background noise and the lively audience singing of the chorus.
which was his fall and fair. He took her by the lily white hand, which was his fall and fair. He then unfolded his body down, gently laid it down. There she beheld three chains of gold, and a dangling three times round. Hang a dangling three times round.